Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to the Ellison Education video series. Today we're going to focus on dinosaurs. We really have a lot from which to choose, so I placed several on the table. If you look here, you can see that we've got a T-Rex and we've got a Velociraptor, a Triceratops. Above that, of course, flying, is the Pterodactyl. There's also over here a Brontosaurus, but the one we're going to focus on today is the Stegosaurus. And if I turn this over, notice first that I've added this detail. If I flip it over, you'll see that really it's all one shape, but we've used perforations on the die as a way to indicate where the kids might want to trim or might want to color in order to create that dimensional effect. So that when I trim off portions of the purple and lay it back on top of the blue, look how cool that is. That's out of paper, but you can also do it out of fabric. You know, the machine will cut anything, scissors will cut. So today we're going to use self-adhesive felt. Here is one t-shirt and here is another. This example, I've actually used the felt with the T-Rex. The one that I thought I would make today is the Stegosaurus. And you can see he's stuck here to the t-shirt, which is fun. But that dimensionality is surprisingly easy. I mentioned the perforations. When you look here, you can see that I've gone ahead and I've cut out of self-adhesive felt, both out of red and of orange. But on the back side, I've marked right along the perforation lines, just to make it a little easier for you to see the places where those perforations are. That is a guide that I'm going to use then to go back and trim out. Basically, I'm cutting every other one of the plates so that when I go back and I place the orange on top of the red, you'll have that double layer effect. So cool. You could also have them do the same project, but have them each bring in a pillowcase. They could do a, a throw pillow. They could bring in a hat or a visor. The self-adhesive felt is great on any fabric project. So after you've gone and trimmed every other one of the plates, you could continue to cut more, but that's enough for you to get the idea. What I'm going to do now is peel away the backing and then I'm going to use this. And remember, it's been cut with the same die, so it aligns perfectly as long as I'm good at positioning it so that it lines up. But I'm lining up those feet. And from there, all I need to do then is just press. And all these other layers are going to align. And look at how cool. You now have something that looks really dimensional because you have the red showing behind. All I would need to do at this point is now peel the backing off the back layer, the red, place it onto a tote bag, a t-shirt, any fabric project that you might want. Whether you choose a stegosaurus or a T-Rex, you know your students are sure to enjoy their dinosaur t-shirts. 